trim command known as trim in the ARTA command set, and unmap in the SCSI command set allows an operating system to inform a solid-state drive SSD which blocks of data are no longer considered in use and can be wiped internally. Trim was introduced soon after SSDs were introduced. Because low-level operation of SSDs differs significantly from hard drives, the typical way in which operating systems handle operations like deletes and formats resulted in unanticipated progressive performance degradation of write operations on SSDs. Trimming enables the SSD to more efficiently handle garbage collection, which would otherwise slow future write operations to the involved blocks, although tools to reset some drives to a fresh state were already available before the introduction of trimming, they also delete all data on the drive, which makes them impractical to use for ongoing optimization. By 2014, many SSDs had internal background garbage collection mechanisms that worked independently of trimming. Although this successfully maintained their performance even under operating systems that did not support trim, it had the associated drawbacks of increased write amplification and wear of the flash cells. <laughs> <laughs> flash drive specific issues Because of the way that many file systems handle delete operations, by flagging data blocks as not in use, storage media SSDs, but also traditional hard drives generally do not know which sectors, pages are truly in use and which can be considered free space. Contrary to for example, an overwrite operation, a delete will not involve a physical write to the sectors that contain the data. Since a common SSD has no knowledge of the file system structures, including the list of unused blocks, sectors, the storage medium remains unaware that the blocks have become available. While this often enables undelete tools to recover files from electromechanical hard disks, despite the files being reported as deleted. By the operating system, it also means that when the operating system later performs a write operation to one of the sectors, which it considers free space, it effectively becomes an overwrite operation from the point of view of the storage medium. For magnetic disks this is no different from writing an empty sector, but because of how some SSDs function at the lowest level, an overwrite produces significant overhead compared to writing data into an empty page, potentially crippling write performance. SSDs store data in flash memory cells that are grouped into pages typically of 4 to 16 kilobytes, grouped together into blocks of typically 128 to 512 pages. Example, 512 kilobytes blocks that group 128 pages of 4 kilobytes each. NAND flash memory cells can only be directly written to when they are empty. If they may contain data, the contents must be erased before a write operation. An SSD write operation can be done on a single page but, due to hardware limitations, arrays commands always affect entire blocks, consequently writing data to empty pages on an SSD is very fast, but slows down considerably once previously written pages need to be overwritten. Since an arrays of the cells in the page is needed before it can be written again, but only entire blocks can be erased, an overwrite will initiate a read arrays modify write cycle, the contents of the entire block are stored in cache, then the entire block is erased from the SSD, then the overwritten page is written to the cached block, and only then can the entire updated block be written to the flash medium. This phenomenon is known as write amplification. Topic. Operation The trim command enables an operating system to notify the SSD of pages which no longer contain valid data. For a file deletion operation, the operating system will mark the file sectors as free for new data, then send a trim command to the SSD. 
After trimming, the SSD will not preserve any contents of the block when writing new data to a page of flash memory, resulting in less write amplification, fewer writes, higher write throughput, no need for a read erase modify sequence, thus increasing drive life. Different SSDs implement the command somewhat differently, so performance can vary. Trim tells the SSD to mark a LBA region as invalid, and subsequent reads on the region will not return any meaningful data. For a very brief time, the data could still reside on the flash internally. However, after the trim command is issued and garbage collection has taken place, it's highly unlikely that even a forensic scientist would be able to recover the data. Implementation Operating system support Trimming is only effective on operating systems which support it. The table below identifies each notable operating system and the first version supporting the command. Additionally, older solid-state drives designed before the addition of the trim command to the ARTA standard will need firmware updates, otherwise the new command will be ignored. However, not every drive can be upgraded to support trimming. topic raid issues as of january 2017 support for the trim command is not implemented in most hardware based raid technologies however software raid implementations often do include support for trim topic <laughs> windows Windows 10 offers support for trim in SSD RAID volumes using the Optimize Drives option when configuring a RAID volume. Topic Mac OS The MacOS RAID driver does not support trim. This is true for all versions of Mac OS X from 10.7 through MacOS 10.12 X. Trim is supported for RAID 0, 1, 4, 5 and 10 volumes when using the third-party Softrade application, including trim support with non-Apple SSD devices. Note, trim for non-Apple SSD devices must be specifically enabled using the terminal command, sudo trimforce enable. <laughs> Linux. Trim is available with RAID volumes in post-January 2011 releases of the Linux kernel's DM RAID, which implements BIOS-assisted, fake hardware RAID support, and which now passes through any trim requests from the file system that sits on the RAID array, not to be confused with DM RAID. Linux's general purpose software RAID system, MDRAID, has experimental support for batch-based rather than live, upon file deletion, trim on RAID 1 arrays when systems are configured to periodically run the MD trim utility on file systems, even those like EXT3 without native trim support. In later versions of Linux, e.g. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.5 and beyond, MDRAID supports actually passing through trim commands in real time, rather than just as a batch job. However, note that Red Hat recommends against using software RAID levels 1, 4, 5, and 6 on SSDs with most RAID technologies, because during initialization, most RAID management utilities e Linux's MDADM write to all blocks on the devices to ensure that checks sums or drive to drive verifies in the case of raid 1/10 operate properly causing the ssd to believe that all blocks other than in the spare area are in use significantly degrading performance on the other hand red hat does recommend the use of raid 1 or raid 10 for lvm raids on ssds as these levels support trim discard 
In Linux terminology, and the LVM utilities do not write to all blocks when creating a RAID 1 or RAID 10 volume. For a short time in March 2010, users were led to believe that the Intel Rapid Storage Technology 9.6 drivers supported Trim on RAID volumes, but Intel later clarified that Trim was supported for the BIOS settings of AHCI mode and RAID mode, but not if the drive was part of a RAID volume. As of August 2012, Intel confirms that 7 series chipsets with Rapid Storage Technology 11.2 Two drivers support Trim for RAID 0 in Microsoft Windows 7. While Intel did not confirm support for 6 series chipsets, Trim on RAID 0 volumes has been shown to work on Z68, P67, and X79 chipsets by hardware enthusiasts with a modified RAID option ROM. It is speculated that the lack of official support for 6 series chipsets is due to validation costs or an attempt to encourage consumers to upgrade, rather than for technical reasons. An exception to the need for a modified option ROM on motherboards with an X79 chipset is if the manufacturer has added a ROM switch, this entails both the RST and RSTE ROMs being inside the BIOS, UEFI. This allows the RST ROM to be used instead of the RSTE ROM, allowing trim to function. Intel notes that best performance can be achieved by using a driver with same version as the ROM, for example, if the BIOS, UEFI has an 11.0.0.0M option ROM, an 11.x version driver should be used. Enabling unsupported file systems Where the file system does not automatically support trim, some utilities can send trimming commands manually. Usually they determine which blocks are free and then pass this list as a series of trimming commands to the drive. These utilities are available from various manufacturers e.g. Intel, G Skill, or as general utilities, e.g. Linux's HD Palm since V9.17, or MD Trim, as mentioned above. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hardware support. Topic: <laughs> ARTA. <laughs> The trim command specification has been standardized as part of the AT attachment ATA interface standard, led by Technical Committee T13 of the International Committee for Information Technology Standards Trim is implemented under the Data Set Management Command of the Draft AX2 specification. The ARTA standard is supported by both parallel and serial ARTA hardware. A drawback of the original ARTA trim command is that it was defined as a non-queuable command and therefore could not easily be mixed with a normal workload of queued read and write operations. SATA 3.1 introduced a queued trim command to remedy this. There are different types of trim defined by SATA words 69 and 169 returned from an ARTA identify device command. Non deterministic trim each read command to the logical block address after a trim may return different data. Deterministic trim drat, all read commands to the LBA after a trim shall return the same data, or become determinate. Deterministic read 0 after trim RZAT, all read commands to the LBA after a trim shall return 0. There is additional information in SATA Word 105 that describes the maximum number of 512 byte blocks per data set management command that a drive can support. 
Typically this defaults to 8 or 4 kilobytes, but many drives reduce this to 1 to meet the Microsoft Windows hardware requirements for trim that command completion time shall not exceed 20 milliseconds or 8 milliseconds times number of LBA range entries whichever is greater and shall always be less than 600 ms an individual LBA range is called an LBA range entry and is represented by 8 bytes the LBA is expressed by the LBA range entry's first six bytes and the range length is a zero-based counter e.g., 0 equals 0 and 1 equals 1 represented by the remaining two bytes. If the two-byte range length is zero, then the LBA range entry shall be discarded as padding. This means that for each 512 byte block of trim ranges that a device supports, the maximum is 64 ranges of 32 megabytes, or 2 gigabytes. If a device supports SATA Word 105 at 8, then it should be able to trim 16 gigabytes in a single trim data set management command. Topic SCSI. SCSI provides the unmap command a full analog of trim, and the write same command 10 and 16 variants with the unmap flag set. <laughs> SD, MMC The multimedia card and SD arrays CMD38 command provides similar functionality to the ARTA trim command, although it requires that arrays blocks be overwritten with either zeros or ones. EMMC 4.5 further defines a discard sub-operation that more closely matches ARTA trim in that the contents of discarded blocks can be considered indeterminate, i.e., don't care. Topic NVM Express. The NVM Express command set has a generic dataset management command for hinting the host's intent to the storage device on a set of block ranges. One of its operations, deallocate, performs trim. It also has a write zeros command that provides a deallocate hint and allows the disk to trim and return zeros. Topic: Shortcomings. When encryption is in use, using the trim command reveals information about which blocks are in use and which are not. The original version of the trim command has been defined as a non-queued command by the T13 subcommittee, and consequently can incur massive execution penalty if used carelessly, e.g., if sent after each file system delete command. The non-queued nature of the command requires the driver to first wait for all outstanding commands to be finished, issue the trim command, then resume normal commands. Trim can take a lot of time to complete, depending on the firmware in the SSD, and may even trigger a garbage collection cycle. This penalty can be minimized in solutions that periodically do a batched trim, rather than trimming upon every file deletion, by scheduling such batch jobs for times when system utilization is minimal. This trim shortcoming has been overcome in Serial ARTA Revision 3.1 with the introduction of the queued trim command. Faulty drive firmware that misreports support for queued trim or has critical bugs in its implementation has been linked to serious data corruption in several devices, most notably Micron's M500, Crucial's M500, and Samsung's 840 and 850 series. The data corruption has been confirmed on the Linux operating system, the only OS with queued trim support as of July 1, 2015. These devices are blacklisted in the Linux kernel's Libata core. See to force sending non queued trim commands to these drives instead of queued trim commands. Micron M500 using all firmware versions only those prior to MU07 have the issue, but Linux hasn't caught up. 
Crucial M500 using all firmware versions including factory recertified SSDs only those prior to MU07 have the issue, but Linux hasn't caught up. Micron M510 using firmware version MU01 Micron M550 using firmware version MU01 Crucial M550 using firmware version MU01 Crucial MX100 using firmware version MU01 Samsung 840 and 850 series SSDs using all firmware versions this file also blacklists the Superspeed S238 against trim in general due to causing the wrong blocks to lose data when trim is issued labata-core.c also has a whitelist to list SSDs that are reliably known to the subsystems maintainers to correctly implement the Draton RZAT flags rather than ignoring them as many drives do. The whitelisted drives are as follows Crucial SSDs Intel SSDs excluding the Intel SSD 510 Micron SSDs Samsung SSDs Seagate SSDs See also Data remanence